Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be illustrating a Kung Fu Kiwi. Let's get to it. So what I've done so far, I've changed the colour of a background by tapping on my layers panel background colour and then I've selected a grey which um, I've added to my colour palette. Then on a new layer, I'm going to add the symmetry tool by going on um, actions, drawing guides, um, edit drawing guides and then making sure symmetry selected and just pressing done Now to start off with Kiwi I've using a hard airbrush and a green color So now I'm just going to turn off the symmetry tool by tapping on the layer and then turning off drawing assist and then going back to actions and removing drawing guides. Now with my raise tool I'm just going to go around and add some texture to the outside of the shape. Or well, actually I'm going to do this by staying on the same layer but with the brush tool I'm going to be selecting one of my texture brushes and just going round, adding some texture to the entire shape. This is because kiwis are pretty furry on the outside. So I'm just going around the entire shape of the kiwi. Good thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be quite rough as each piece of fruit isn't exactly perfect. So doing this just increases the realisticness of the fruit. So now I've done that, I'm going to make sure my kiwi is selected and then I'm going to slightly rotate it and resize it, making sure uniform selected. Now to begin adding shading to the kiwi. So I'm going to select a new layer, tap on the new layer and then clipping mask. I'm going to select one of my shading brushes. And then I'm going to select a darker colour. I'm going to just adjust in the brush size. I'm slowly adding some texture, getting darker the closer to the edge I go. So now on another layer above it, okay, again turn into a clipping mask and I'm going to be selecting a lighter colour for the highlights. So I'm just going to do a rough pass of the lighter colour. And then another layer above, clipping mask. And then I'm going to go back to the initial green that I used. Reduce the, opac uh, reduce the brush size and then just do a gentle on that side. 
I'm going to select somewhere in the middle and do the same. And then another final layer, clipping mask. I'm pressing on very light. adding a bit more pressure now. Now I'm going to add a new layer, clipping mask, and now the final lighter colour. I'm going to add some and add another highlight. And then I'm going to go in with my raise tool, back to the same brush. And then I'm just going to start raising some from the bottom in little circles. A bit from the side. And then a bit from the other side. Just to give it that shine. I'm just going to move it a bit this way. Okay, so now I'm happy with the shape and the shading of the Kiwi. I'm going to start adding other elements. So I'm going to begin with the face of the character. So I've just um, added a new layer, going back to the hard brush. So I'm just going to draw a circle, keep my pen on the screen, Tap with one finger and I'll let go. Fill the shape in. And then I'm going to duplicate the shape by swiping left on the layer. Tap duplicate. And then move um, the duplicate layer across. I'm going to merge those two together. I think I'm just going to make those just a bit bigger. And then, still on the same layer, I'm going to add some other elements. Starting off with some eyebrows. And then a mouth. I'm just going to move the mouth. And now, underneath this layer, I'm going to add some shading around these elements. Going back to my shading brush, start off with my highlights first. decrease my brush size. And then just changing the colour of my brush, 
back to the darker colour. Do the same on this side. So on a new layer above all of it, I'm going to go back to my hard brush, select a red. This is where the sweat band's going to come in. So I'm going to start by creating a new layer, turn that layer into a clipping mask, going back to my texture brushes, and then selecting a darker red. And now on a light pass, I'm just going to reduce the opacity, and I'm just going to add texture to it. And then I'm going to go back, new layer, clipping mask, now I'm going to go in and add some shading. Just selecting this colour, lightening this part up, and same underneath as well. And then on a new layer, again clipping mask, I'm going to select the red and I'm going to lighten it slightly, just so I can add a highlight to this side as well. Like so, and then I'm going to go back to the red and just add a bit of the red on this side. And now on the Kiwi layer, I'm going to go back onto there. So looking at the arrows, going to the top one, new layer, turn that into a clipping mask. And I'm going to go back to my shading, uh, my shadow colour. And I'm going to add a small shadow underneath the sweatband. Like so. And then I'm going to add a slight shadow just above. Now, to bring the illustration together, we're going to add some limbs. So I'm going to create a new layer, but I'm going to drag this underneath the, the base layer of the Kiwi. I'm going to change my colour back to the body colour and then change a the brush back to my hard brush. Now for the arms first, we're going to have one coming out this way, straight, so I'm tapping on the screen whilst holding the pen on the screen, and then we're going to have one this way. So I'm going to go down first, then I'm going to go in, then I'm going to go back down again. That's that's the arm. That's the arm. Now for the legs, I'm gonna have 
one coming this way. And then I'm gonna have down and then across and then down. Nice and simple. Now to add some shading to these elements, I'm gonna go new layer, oops, clipping mask. And I'm gonna start off with the highlights. So I'm gonna select the lighter color, general brush back to the shading brush. And just start by on the top of that. Let's over this. And then going on my shading brush. Slight circles. Now with these, because they are behind the body, I'm just going to go over them initially, just to darken the whole of them. And then I'm going to go back in and add further shadows. Like so. And then a bit of reflective light, just so they stand out from the background. And then do the same to these. Okay, finally, I'm going to add a shadow to the floor. Going on, selecting a black. Changing that to my hard brush again. So we're drawing a ellipse at the bottom. And then I'm just going to fill this in. And then slightly blur using my Gaussian blur. And then finally, I'm going to change the color of the floor to a slightly lighter gray. So guys, that was my Karate Kiwi. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, and if you do recreate it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, at Design with Smith. And if you like this content, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, just so you don't miss a further episode.